I'm so glad you came back. I want to talk to you about thread snips today. What are thread snips? I'm going to show you. Come on. Don't let me insult your intelligence. If you know what these are, you're good to go. But if you don't, I can maybe show you a thing or two, okay? When you're done sewing a garment, you may have some loose threads here, there, on your hems, on your sleeves, and your neckline, what have you. And we want to get rid of those. I one time made a dress and it was really pretty and then I went out and it was black light and everybody saw my threads. <coughs> Clutch the pearls! Yes. You don't want that to be you. <laughs> We're not going to go into my nighttime shenanigans. Fun fact. If you are not left-handed, you cannot use left-handed scissors. Do you know why? Hmm? I know there are some left-handers out there who know the answer to that question. Because the blade has to be in a certain position in order to cut. And if the blade has to be in a certain position, that means your hand has to be in a certain position. And if you're right-handed and you're trying to use left-handed scissors, it means you have to shove your fingers through a hole that was made for your thumb. These are Singer Thread Snips. They have a five inch blade, which is stainless steel. They have a spring action handle with a little bit of um, grip here, and they have a little pinky hole, which you can use to control or hold on to the scissors. These are extremely sharp at the tip. Because they cut all the way to the tip, the blades are very sharp here. Now, if you'll notice, and you probably can't see it from where you are, and that's okay, this blade is already chipped because I have dropped these on my floor. And these don't just drop on the floor, they're like daggers. When I drop these on the floor, they stay right side up in the floor. If you're in the mood for some quick cutting scissors, these are your, your best friend right here. Um, I have used these for probably about a year and they're still relatively sharp. I've not had to sharpen them. I mean, they have a lifetime guarantee. So if they needed to be sharpened or if I needed to return them to Singer, I could and get a new pair. That's a plus. And for $8.54, you cannot beat that. It's very easy to hold. The spring action means you only have to squeeze and then you can let go. Now, I would not use these to trim a hem only because they're very short and the blades are very wide and they don't glide through with the kind of control that you would need from maybe a more narrow blade in order to cut your hem. Overall, I love these scissors. I'm gonna give these a four out of five. The next scissor, or excuse me, thread snip that I have are these Singer 4.5 inch Pro Series. So these have a four and a half inch blade, but if you can see, it doesn't have a large plastic housing around the blade. So you have a little bit more visual kind of ideal when you're cutting with them. These are excellent for cutting excess fabric at the hems. These are really great for cutting extra threads. You just have to be very careful because they are very sharp. This has a nano tip, which means it also is gonna cut right to the tip of these uh, blades. So you don't really want to have your fingers in the way when you're cutting with these. The Singer Pro Series is really good at cutting threads yarns, crafts, if you need to get into small spaces, the blades are relatively narrow. I actually really like these. I like the rubber grip. I kind of wish that it had a uh, pinky holder, but it doesn't, and that's quite fine. These Singer Pro Series, I'm gonna give these a four out of five. These scissors actually list for $12.99. However, they are on sale right now for $5.60. So still, even without a locking mechanism, I'm gonna say these are a win. Four out of five. Penta Angel Yarn Thread Cutter. These are little snips. These were $5.99 for three pairs of, of snips. I'm saying they're not super sharp. They're not extremely durable. They do not have any sort of screws that hold them together. You can take them apart just like that. They have two little interlocking arms in the center, which causes them to have the little, um, spring these are not extremely safe they stay open when not in use 
I'm not a big fan of scissors that stay open when not in use. However, they're $5.99 and I can get three of them. I have several pairs of these lying around just in case any of my other scissors go missing, which they do. And we all know that nobody is supposed to be touching our fabric scissors. But they do. So these are really just for yarn and little threads that are kind of hanging around. Again, these are the Penta Angel Yarn Cutters, $5.99 for three pair. I'm gonna give these a three out of five because although they are affordable, they have no safety features. The blades are not extremely sharp. They do not usually cut all the way to the tip of the blade and because this is very easily broken, taken apart, and um, so they're not extremely durable either. Mm, I am not here for these. <laughs> I am not here for these. You see how hard it was to put these? I am not here for these scissors, okay? These are a three out of five. The next scissors I have actually come in a set. We have the BIHRC, BIHRC Plum Blossom Scissors. These, as you can see, these are embroidery uh, scissors, and you can tell because of the way that they crane which is this little dip right here. It's a little crane. Um, these are the tiny ones. These are 3.6 inches in length. These are excellent for cutting threads on the back of embroidery, for cutting threads on your fabrics, maybe even finagling your way into a very tiny hem because these can get in here. Now they are not very sharp at the tip. You are not gonna cut yourself on these little scissors, okay? They have a bit of a bull nose at the tip. So when you're getting through your fabric, you can see it has the crane there. And so when you're cutting through your fabric, you can see right above the bull nose where you're cutting and guiding your scissors. So I really like these. However, I don't expect them to last very long because initially they are not very sharp. I don't see myself cutting into any felt or furry fabrics or thick fabrics or corduroys or anything of that nature with these particular scissors. But they are pretty, aren't they? They come with these plum blossom scissors, which are gorgeous. Now, I'm going to tell you, these are extremely sharp. The tip of these scissors are very sharp, um, but as I'm looking at them, they do kind of peel into a V at the very tip of the scissors. So while they may look like they're going to cut all the way to the tip for a very long time, they are probably not. I can tell the blades are already warped. These are 4.5 inches in length. They're great for a cover stitch edge. BIHRTC Vintage Plum Blossom Scissors are very pretty to look at. The reviews on Amazon were not very friendly for the most part. Uh, they don't stay very sharp. These have quite a bit of resistance, but they are sharp right now. They are very pretty to look at. So if you're a scissors collector, I mean, go for it. They're very pretty. Look at the flowers on there. Look at the flowers on there. They do cut quite well. They will be able to cut your hems, but there are no safety features and they aren't gonna stay sharp for very long. The blades are already crooked on mine, so I don't anticipate that these are gonna last a super long time. Three out of five. I'm sorry, but they're pretty. This is the reason why I should always wait to watch your reviews before I decide to go to the store. I literally, just bought these. Thankfully, I can go buy another one online. Fiskars Micro Tip Easy Action Scissors. These have a lock. They have really great spring action. They have a rubber grip, so they're really easy to hold. The blades are about five inches long, and they're not extremely wide so when cutting you can kind of see over them where you're cutting now am i going to go at a hem with these probably not because i would be nervous about cutting my fabric because they're very sharp all the way to the tip they actually have a beveled tip so they are very very sharp all the way to the tip of these scissors they have an award by the arthritis foundation for their ease of use and because they have that spring action they're much easier for folks with arthritis to hold on to with the rubber grip and things. And then they have the safety uh, button to keep them closed. So you just slide down and they open, close and slide up. 
I like that. I can do that with one hand. And see the blade on these are actually gold because they are coated in titanium. What did we say about titanium? However, while I'm giving these a five out of five, these are still my bestie. I'm not gonna make a scissor hands joke this time. <laughs> Although I have so many different pairs of little tiny thread snips, I'm gonna go ahead and say that although these are my, you know, all time favorite, these are slowly gaining my affections. So I'm gonna say that these right here are my boyfriend and these right here are my side boo. <laughs> boo thing and side boo. No, don't do, I'm just kidding. If I was not accustomed to these and had not been using these for so long, these would definitely be a pair of my favorites. So you know what, Diana? I think you're good with these scissors. You go ahead and knock yourself out. I'm so glad you all came here to see my low review. I'm happy to do these for you every single Tuesday. You have a wonderful week. Bye. Mm -hmm.